During a Senate caucus hearing earlier this month, Republican Senator and Donald Trump supporter Jeff Sessions said that good people don't smoke marijuana. This drug is dangerous. You cannot play with it. It's not funny. It's not something to laugh about. And, and trying to send that message with clarity that good people don't smoke marijuana. Nearly half of Americans say they've used cannabis, according to Pew Research. And that includes the current and past presidents of the U.S., countless artists, scientists, and entrepreneurs, millions of medical cannabis patients, and millions of other regular Americans. But because they use or have used cannabis, according to Senator Sessions, they're not good people. Good people don't smoke marijuana. Of course, no rational person would accuse anyone of being a bad person simply for using cannabis or any other substance. But Sessions isn't a rational person. In fact, based on his racist past and attacks on voting rights, he isn't even an objectively good person. For example, in 1986, before his election to the Senate, Sessions was nominated to a federal judgeship by Ronald Reagan, but the Senate Judiciary Committee rejected him, making Sessions only the second nomination to be vetoed in 50 years. Why? He allegedly made frequent racist comments to aides and colleagues. According to one black lawyer, Sessions regularly referred to him as boy and warned him to be careful what you say to white folks. Sessions purportedly told another aide that the NAACP and ACLU are un-American, communist-inspired, and forced civil rights down the throats of people. Additionally, Sessions admitted to saying he thought the Ku Klux Klan were okay until he learned they smoked pot, but claimed it was a joke. If that wasn't enough, Sessions has called the Voting Rights Act of 1965 intrusive and to this day argues for its dismantling. Sessions also supported the Bush tax cuts, the Iraq War, is fervently anti-gay and anti-immigration, and endorsed Donald Trump for president. As for Sessions' claim that cannabis is dangerous, the scientific evidence suggests otherwise. For instance, unlike most legal drugs, no one has ever died from cannabis overdose. The plant is less addictive than heroin, cocaine, alcohol, nicotine, and caffeine, and cannabis is not a gateway to harder drugs. Moreover, two recent studies even found that adolescent cannabis use has no impact on intelligence, unlike tobacco. Based on the facts, cannabis isn't a danger to the United States. Senator Jeff Sessions is.